Well, I cannot tell you how stoked I am about having this model steam engine. Now, this is very unusual for several reasons. But I basically saw this on eBay. It was at a fairly low buy it now price and I didn't know what it was. Now, I've been collecting model steam engines for many, many, many years. And I'm pretty good these days at identifying them. I did not know what this was, but it looked, it looked something special. And looking at all the pictures, it had a very much, to my eye, an American manufactured look to it. It very, very similar in a lot of aspects to Empire model steam engines. Uh, so I bought it and it turned up and it's in pretty damn good nick, uh, as you can see. And I want to say a big thank you and shout out at this point to my friend and fellow model steam engine collector in Texas, Charlie Miller, who several years ago sent me some literature, which I've used on multiple occasions now to help me identify model steam engines. And it was thanks to that literature that Charlie sent me that I was able to identify this engine. So what is it then? Well, I was close, but uh, no cigar on the uh, area of manufacture. This is a Wilson S2 that was made in, made in Toronto in Canada. Now, not a lot is known about these engines. There are a couple of videos on YouTube of these, and uh, there's one or two collectors out there that have got them, but very little seems to be known about the company or these engines. Um, for example, I can't find a date of manufacture anywhere, but looking at it, I'm saying it's probably 1940s, maybe 1950s. It looks like an aluminium boiler. Uh, that, I think the base is cast iron. It's, it's quite heavy, and obviously it's got a brass flywheel, but the cylinder and piston are, um, again, aluminium. You know, I, Well, the cylinder is. I'm not sure about the, the, the piston. I haven't had it apart yet. So, yeah, uh, uh, these are very rare, and I was so lucky. I mean, there's no burner with it, and uh, we'll let it come round. It's got another... Uh, it's not a problem, but it can easily be sorted out. But um, this should be the safety valve here. But that isn't. That's just some sort of a bolt that's screwed in there. And it doesn't look anything like um, the safety valve either so I've, there are pictures of these on the net so I'm hoping that I can uh, re reproduce that or make a, a, a similar safety valve the thread is quarter 40 which is a bit unusual uh, it's quite a fine thread oh and the other thing is this plug here in the, I'm not sure whether this is a level plug maybe or or just a drain 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 plug I, I, I don't know but that should be uh, simply a um, round headed plug with a small bar through it very similar to sort of the mammoth uh, level plugs on some of the mammoth boilers but that's what should be and that's just a screw i think that someone's put in there because they, they you know they needed something to block the hole up and i also think that um the lever on the whistle we'll have a look at that when it comes around is is not someone's replaced the lever on the whistle but i think the whistle's original so uh, but it's all in good nick it all turns yeah this i think has been replaced here but it all it all rotates you know so i don't think we'll have any uh trouble getting it run running from what i can see and the, the pictures i've managed to find it has a round uh small round burner so you know one of the ones from one of my big or dole engines would go in there quite nicely and i'm sure that would be uh more than adequate the uh, chimney it does go all the way down through the boiler so it's for a single flue all the way down through the boiler which i would imagine uh, will probably heat up pretty damn quick actually with that flue so yeah what an amazing looking engine i am i just can't tell you how stoked i am to have this because it, it, I, I just you know i've never I, i've never seen another one on ebay ever since i've been looking and you know, they, these just don't come up so this is just an amazing find so I'll get it cleaned up. It just really needs a, a, a good clean, really. We'll see if we can sort out a proper, I think if I can little make up a proper uh, little side bung for it and uh, machine up a safety valve and we should be good to get it steamed. What a lovely little engine. They're, they're just, it's just like, very, again, very unique about its design. So here is the Wilson S2 after a bit of a clean. I haven't done a full rest restore on this. I think the paint and the base is good enough for 
to, to be left as it is. I've just polished the aluminum up and I've uh, made some replacement parts for it. So what have we made? Well, that I hope is a fairly good facsimile of the original safety valve. So I hope that will, that will do the job. What else? Come back around. The, uh, the whistle was all clogged up with silk and I've had that soaking in vinegar and that seems to have uh, cleaned that out. I've removed that screw that was in there and I've made a more representative uh, plug for this part here, which again, I hope is a, a good example of the original. But there are a few interesting things that have come to light while I've been had this thing stripped down and taken apart. Well, the first one, and I'll, sh I'll show you this, let me zoom in on this, is I didn't notice this originally, and it wasn't until I took the thing apart to clean it up. There is a very small hole in the bottom of the cylinder. Now, the only reason I can see that that would be there is possibly for oiling, but I, otherwise I don't really know, you know, there it is, I'm sure you can see that. I've no idea why that's there. I don't know whether that's been added or whether that was on the original. I need to try and get some close up looks at the pictures of the originals. Um, that's come out again. So that is a bit odd, uh, to say the least. No, it's cl it's cleaned up okay. What was the other thing? Oh yes, this is very interesting as well. Well, from my perspective, let me, again, we'll close in on it. Where the steam pipe appears to enter the boiler here, it doesn't. That is a, uh, I don't know, a countersunk hole, should we say? And this steam pipe just presses into that hole and it relies on the pressure from the mounting bracket applying, the pressure the mounting bracket applies to the pipe to hold it in place. I don't know whether, again, whether it came like that. I, I can't believe that was how it was, it came from the factory because it's not gonna make a very good seal. I've tried running it on air and it runs fine. When I reassembled it, I put some Loctite around it to see, to, to see whether that would help. And I think it has done, but whether or not that's gonna, gonna hold up under steam, I, I really don't know. So that's all a bit odd. Again, unfortunately, I, I, I've got nothing to compare this to, so I don't know whether this is, you know, as it was from the factory. What else? Let's come back around, there we go. Now, I said I thought in the first part that the base casting was cast iron, but it's not, it's actually cast aluminium, which makes sense because this was the brass and aluminium foundries, so the Wilson brass and aluminium foundries. But there's something else that's odd here, right? <laughs> Obviously the, 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 the casting's got patent draft on it, but no attempt has been m made to machine any of the surfaces of the cast base. So what that means is that these uprights here aren't upright, they're in fact canted over at an angle like that. And also they are, let me find something suitable to demonstrate the remote. They are also canted out like that, at that kind of an angle. So that's, you know, that's very odd. So this, this, Motor support here is a, is a, I'm going to exaggerate, but it's at an angle like that. It's, so it's it's all very strange. I uh, I can only conclude it was meant to be like that, but I mean you know I'm sure this is exactly the casting anyway is how it came from the factory, but it is all a bit old. So anyway, it's all ready to uh, for its steaming attempt. I haven't tried yet. As I said, I've run it on air and it runs fine on air, but that doesn't really, you know, count in the world of steam, unfortunately. So it's all ready to go and that will be, be the next step. As I said, I'm a bit concerned about that pipe joint. I'm not sure whether that's gonna be good enough for, uh, for steam pressure, but it all, it's all, it, you know, it's all free, it all moves. As I said, it does run on air. Um, so there we go. Let's get the burner on it and some water in it. Well, this has been an absolute right bugger to get running on steam. <laughs> the, uh, there's all sorts of issues with the cylinder and the piston and Conrod, in fact, uh, I'll zoom in a little bit on that. I'm sure the observant amongst you will have noticed that the uh, conrod 
is now a different colour <laughs> to what it was originally. In fact, I've made a new piston and con rod completely. Um, the, this is the original one. There we go. I could not get it to run with this. Well, I got it to run just, but it needed an awful lot of pressure to do that. I think basically what was happening was that the the piston, for some unknown reason, was expanding more than the cylinder was, and it was binding once it got hot. I reamed out the cylinder, and I polished up the piston, but it didn't. It it, it made a little bit of difference, but it just it just didn't want to know. But also. The bore is drilled off center. So, where's my pointy stick? Instead of it being vertical with this, with the engine mount, right, it's actually bored like that. So, this is not going up and down parallel with the engine mount. So, that doesn't help either. So, I made a new piston and I made a new con rod. And it does now appear to be okay we'll get some heat on there's there's water there's water in the boiler i have actually just run it and it did run um so we'll get some we'll get some heat i'm using a, a twin wick burner i think i think this is one i made for um one of my uh, burnack engines burnack vulcans I, I i didn't have a burner with uh one of them so we'll stick that in there but yeah it's been a right pig it really has um i, I don't know you know whether this is just where oh what was the other thing that happened yes the other thing with the conrod the um the, the hole in the end of the conrod for the crank pin that should be one eighth and it's much much it's worn oval for a start off and it's m much much bigger than that it's really really much larger than it should be so hopefully with the new piston on conrod we should get a bit of steam action i think we're just about ready yes finally <laughs> i'm using that little say two wick burner that i made for my for the vulcan i don't know whether that's going to maintain steam pressure or not maybe it, it, it needs a three wick burner or something but it is running under its own steam hooray The other problem with this thing is it's got a very tiny boiler. It, I mean, it looks a reasonable size, but the center flue takes up an awful lot of the boiler and it doesn't hold a lot of water. So it runs out of water very quick. I think we're gonna run out of puff pretty soon. Yeah. I was afraid of that. But it does run, that's the important thing. Let's have a look at the burner, see how we're doing. Yeah, still going all right. Could probably really do with more, more, more heat, <laughs> I would imagine. But that's the Wilson S2, and it does, it does actually run. Um, I, I, I've tried the whistle. The whistle, unfortunately, doesn't work. There we go. There we go again. The safety valve appears to work okay. That's the holding, which is, which I'm pleased about. So. So you can get short runs out of it, <laughs> but uh, I think that's really about it. Let's let it build up a bit of pressure again, but, <clears throat> but it does work. Now it's got a new piston and conrod. Yeah, that little burner, I just, it's just not man enough for it, unfortunately. Anyway, there you go. <laughs> Sometimes you get these, these kind of problems. I did work out what this hole is and this little screw in the top. Basically, there is a gallery which runs down the side of the cylinder. And then it, it, it it meets up with that hole, which has been cross-drilled in the, in the cylinder. And I think it's an oiler. Basically, you take the screw out, put some uh, steam oil in there, and then it drips feed oil into the uh, uh, cylinder gallery. Um, so, which I did do. So. 
Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video on the uh, rather wet, rare Wilson S2 model steam engine. Thanks very much for watching. Cheers.